Hey, Star Squad, it's Rochelle here from Reunion Training in Sydney, and I'm here to take you through an upper body workout this week. So the way we're going to structure this one is we're going to do a bit of a warm-up, uh, some mobility, some bounded activation, and then we're going to get into three blocks of work. So if you've got a band at home or some kind of tubing, you're going to need to grab that. Also, if you've got some dumbbells, so there are options that I will give you uh, if you don't have the band, so you'll be able to do it as well. So let's get into it. All right, so hands coming up nice and high and pushing back into the glutes. Up nice and high and back into the glutes. One more time. Big stretch all the way up, looking at the ceiling. And pushing your hands back, walking your hands out into a pike. Big push through your hands. Big push down there and coming forward into your plank. We're going to go left foot forward. Elbow comes down to the ground and reach it up to the sky. Two more here. Elbow down to the ground. World's greatest stretch and up to the sky. One more time here. Down to the ground. And up to the sky, changing sides. Right foot, right hand. Elbow comes down to the ground and up to the ceiling. Two more here. Elbow down to the ground and up to the ceiling. Last one here. Elbow down to the ground, up to the ceiling. Hand comes back onto the ground. We're going to come onto all fours. So for this next one, we're going to grab our right hand and pop it on our ear. Our elbow is going to come all the way down to our wrist, and we're going to sweep it up to the ceiling. Okay, so nice big thoracic opener down and up. Two more here. Come on down and up. Hand comes back down. Now we're going to change sides. So hand on your ear, coming down and up towards the ceiling. Come on down. Two more here, up towards the ceiling and down. Last one here, up towards the ceiling and come on down. Hand comes back onto the ground. What we're gonna do is bring our hands all the way to the left, okay? Once you've got them on the left, the other hand, so your right hand will go on top and we're just gonna do a big stretch down here, big upper body stretch through your lats, through your shoulders, trying to pull that carpet towards you. Changing all the way around to the right. Hand comes on top and pull back into that stretch. Big deep breath. And out. Coming back into the middle just to finish that one off. Child's pose here. And coming up onto all fours. Push back into your pike. Big stretch through here. We're going to walk our hands in. Elbows at the bottom. Hold them down there. Move them around if you need to. And we're going to roll on up. Okay. Grab your band. We're going to do a little bit of around the world rotation. Okay. So nice wide hands on your band. Or you can use a broom. A broomstick with the, um, the head cut off if you need to. So nice wide hands. We're going to come up and over the body. Really get these shoulders warmed up for our upper body. Up and over. Give me two more here. And two. Last one. And one. Next one we're going to do is called an around the world. So we're going to start at one hip. We're going to go around the world all the way back to the starting line, okay? So come with me. We've got three here. And two. And last one here, and one. Now we're going to change sides, so change hips around the opposite direction. And for two, last one here, and for one. Shake it out, big roll, big roll forward. We're going to grab the band, nice and wide again, and we're just going to roll the shoulders forward for three, and two, and one there. Shake it out. And we're going to reverse that. So coming back, four, three, and two, and one here. Roll them out. All right, grab a single loop of your band. And we're just going to do a pull apart. So we're going to pull the band. Oh, it's a bit harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> pull that band behind your back, okay? So you're going to retract your shoulder blades, squeeze nice and tight, and come on out. So we're going to activate all these chest muscles and posterior here, all right? So big pull, four, three. And two, 
Last one. And one, shake it on out. Okay, team. So, oof. we've got, for our first block of three, okay, we've got three exercises. So, really easy, similar to last week. Our first one's going to be a straight push-up, okay? So, most important thing with a push-up is I want your chest to the ground at every time. This is not a push-up, okay? So, making sure every time your chest comes down and up, okay? If you can do it from your toes, Go for it. Because I'm going to talk, I'm going to do it from my knees, all right? The second one is what's called a banded row. So we're going to grab your row, your band, our feet. Our band goes around our feet. Single or double loop. Sit up nice and high. And we're just going to squeeze into our banded rows, okay? We've got 10 reps there. And then the last one, you can use your dumbbells if you don't have a band. Otherwise, we are going to use our power band. We're going to step in. Hands come up and underneath the band, and we've got a squat press for 10 reps, okay? So we're going to do those three exercises, 10 reps, three times, okay? So let's get ready to go. Are you ready? Push-ups to begin with. So choose which one you want. Our first option is off your knees. Our second option is lowering down from your toes, pushing up from your knees, and the last one is just from your toes, okay? Okay. So we'll go in three, in two, and one. Let's go. I'm going to go from my knees today for 10, and nine, eight, seven, six, chest all the way down to the ground, five, four, give me three more, three, two, and one. Round one done. Could not be easier. Okay. Second exercise, our banded row. Or you can use your dumbbell and do a bent over row if you wish. So, band comes around the feet, shoulders back, nice and tall. And we're going to pull for 10 and 9 and 8, 7, 6, 5, big squeeze, 4, 3, 2 more. And last one here. Third exercise, we've got a banded squat press, okay? So standing in your power band, your feet are about hip width apart, okay? So bringing your hands up and under. Now, if you don't have your power band, you can use your dumbbells for this one as well. So sitting back into a low squat and pushing up for 10 and 9. 8, push all the way up to the sky. 7, 6. And five, four more here, three, try and stay with me, two, and one, simple as that, one more lap guys, so coming down, choose your push-ups, and forward, we're going straight in, so this one, I'm going to come down from my toes, and up from my knees, to show you that option, all right, so coming down, we've got ten, down, push up, down, and up. And three, and four, seven, give me three more, eight, nine, and ten. And up, banded rows, second round. All right, sitting down, band comes around those feet, and pull, off you go for ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, and four, three, two more, and one there. Okay, squat, press, let's go. Okay, standing hip within that band, hands come under, you know what to do. Four, ten, and nine, eight, seven, six, Five, five more, four, three, two, last one, hands up to the sky and down. Okay, we've got one more lap. See, easy as pie. All right, push-ups, choose your option from the knees, lowering down from the toes and pushing up from the knees or straight from your toes. Which one will you choose? 10 reps, let's go. 10, how fast can you go? Three, four, 
five, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. Awesome work. Banded rows, coming down, take a seat. All right, grab your breath, grab that band around the feet, shoulders back and tight, squeeze through those shoulder blades. Three, four, five, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. Last squat press. Okay, stepping in the band. All right, coming up and under, we're going for 10. And nine, seven, six, and five. Count them out. Four. Elbows come in. They're not wide. Two. Last one here. And one. Easy. Grab some water, okay? Tie yourself off if you need it. Okay. The second block of exercises. The first one is called our renegade row. So coming down to the floor in a plank position. I might go this way. So we're coming into a plank position. All right, nice and tight, squeeze through those glutes. But what we need to avoid here is for our hips to be moving around. So we're in our plank position. I'm gonna draw those dumbbells up towards our shoulders, okay? For 10 of those. The next one, we're gonna come down onto our backs. We've got a chest press with a tricep extension. So coming down onto your back, we're going to go here. So one chest press, one tricep skull crusher. One chest press, one skull crusher. So make sure we're not out and wide with our elbows. We're going to be in. It's a little bit more of a neutral grip chest press on that one. And then the last one here we've got, ooh, fun stuff. So we're going to go over onto our front, what's called a Y to a W, okay? So we've got our W, our Y, coming down as simple as that for our first exercise. You'll notice how my toes are slightly off the ground, my glutes are squeezed, my pelvis is tucked under, okay? So Y, W to Y for the first one. On the second and third one, we're going to layer it and add a little bit more complexity. But we'll start with that to begin with, okay? So there are your three exercises. Let's start with the renegade row. We've got three rounds of these. 10 reps and let's get it done. Okay, so I'll come this way. All right, guys, up onto your toes. We're gonna pull. So you'll notice my wrists are directly underneath my shoulders, okay? 10, nine, eight, try and not move through those hips. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Flipping onto your back. We've got our neutral drip, grip chest press and our tricep extension. So hands come up nice and high. So the most important thing to remember is our forearms are the only things that are moving, okay? We're not doing a rainbow tie movement, okay? So one chest press, one tricep extension. Let's go. Nine. And eight. And seven, six, five. Obviously, the harder your weight, the heavier your weight, the slower you might want to go on this. But if you've got nice light weights, you can probably keep up to this pace or set your own fast tempo. Two more here. Last one. And one. Okay, coming onto your belly. We've got your W's to your Y's, okay? So coming onto your belly. All right. So shoulder blades up, big squeeze. We've got our W, Y for 10. And nine. And eight. Seven. Six. Five more. Five. Squeeze those glutes. Four. Three. Two more. Two. And last one here. Nice. Coming back to our renegade row. So lots of work on our posterior, which is nice and helps us if we've been sitting on our desks all day with a bit of an internal rotation, okay? So coming down. Renegade rows for 10 and 9, 8, 
Seven, try and keep those hips still. Six, five, four, and three. Two more. Two, and one. Flipping on over, we've got our neutral grip chest press with a tricep extension. Coming up for one, and two. Awesome work, team. Count it out to ten. Four. Keep it going. Big push. Coming just above your forehead. Three more. Three. Two here. And two. Last one. And one. Awesome work. Okay. For this next one, I want to use what's called to get into our handcuff position, okay? So we've got a W. We've got a Y, then we're going to bring the hands back into a handcuff, all right? Really good for opening up those shoulder blades off the floor. All right, so we're going to start here. So W, Y, bring it all the way back, a little bit of mobility here, and back to your W. Four, W, Y, and back. That's two. W, Y, handcuff, and three. Keep it going. And four. Bring those shoulder blades off the ground. You'll feel a nice stretch through the front of your shoulders here. Keep it up. Five more. Keep breathing. Three. Four. It is slightly off the ground. Two more here. Two. Oh, I can feel those through my shoulders. Last one. And up. Okay, last lap here, team. So we have our renegade rows. Last round. Straight on in. We've got 10 reps. Let's go. Nine and eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two more. Two and one. Flip it straight around. Whew. Okay. So. One chest, neutral grip, grip chest, one tricep. Chest and tricep. I hope you've got some beats happening in the background so it's not as quiet and you're not just hearing my voice. Workouts always better with music as far as I'm concerned. And five more. Three. Oh, I said five and went to three. One job, Rochelle. Two. <laughs> Last one. And one. Okay, for this one, I'm going to get you to grab your band, okay? So we are going to go over into our W's and Y's, but we're going to use our band for it this time, right? Lots of rolling around on the ground. <laughs> okay, so um, band is about shoulder in distance, all right, where you're holding it, your grip. And we're just going to go into the body and push out. Squeeze through the body. It's almost like think you're in a lap press, all right? If you're in a gym and you're on the... Lat press pull down, lat pull down, I should say. Four, three, and four, five. You've got five more here. Five, four, three, two, last one, and one. Oh, I can feel that one. Grab some water, team. I'm going to grab some water too. Okay, last block. Could not be easier. Okay, for our last block here. Okay, our first one's going to be a simple shoulder plank tap, okay? So come on down into your plank, squeeze the butt, butt under, all right? Pelvis is nice and under, but not high. And we're going to go shoulder tap, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, okay? That's our first one. Our second one is going to be a banded rotation with a push. So that's a little bit more of a uh, core exercise as well. So I'm going to grab my band. You can also use a booty band if you've got one and use put your pop your thumb, thumbs through it. So we're going to come over into our backs. And what this is going to look like is, okay, so I'm going to hold it like this. We're going to lean back slightly. So it's a core exercise as well. If you're feeling super strong, you can take your uh, heels off the ground. I'm going to leave mine on just for this one. So a band comes in towards your body. You're going to pivot to the right, pushing out. And push it around and back, okay? It's going to be 
a nice core but also shoulder upper body exercise and then the last one we've got a little bit of mobility here all right a nice big shoulder reach to the back of the sky try and touch the wall behind you okay big reach as we come back all right really nice for your shoulders and also for your thoracic and lower back you'll like that one okay we're going to start on our plank shoulder taps okay so coming on all fours might get rid of these oh no they nearly hit my laptop <laughs> and back this way okay all right so we're going into our plank shoulder taps oh i'm gonna love video okay coming into our plank our shoulders are directly over our wrists and we're going for 10 and 9 8 7 6 squeeze that tummy 5 4 3 2 and 1 especially if you've been eating as much uh, isolation goodies as I have. Squeeze the tummy in, suck that belly to the back of the spine. <laughs> the next one we've got is our banded rotations. So we're going to be sitting on our butt. Grab your band. So a little bit shorter than we had before. Okay, if you want to, you can take one foot off the ground and come to the side, push out for 10. And push out, really try and lean back, get those obliques and abs firing. And push, and six, and five, four, keep leaning back, use your abs, squeeze them tight, three, two more here, two, last one, and one, nice work. Back to the plank, oh, crab reach, crab reach, all right, <laughs> sitting back onto your hands, feet come onto the ground, and we're going to reach up to the sky, big stretch, looking right behind you. And nine, come back down. And eight, big stretch. Seven, and six, lots of mobility. Five, and four, good for your shoulder health. You might get a few little cracks from there. Three, big reach. And two, and last one here. And Big reach over and down, okay? Coming back onto your plank. This time we're gonna go uh, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, butt tap, butt tap, okay? All right, coming onto your plank movement. So we're gonna go shoulder, shoulder, butt, and butt. Keep those hips still. Shoulder, shoulder, butt, and butt. Give me three more of these, butt, and butt, and two, shoulder. Back, back, and one more here. Shoulder and butt, and butt, nice. All right, rotation and push. So grab your band or your booty band with your thumbs through it. Whatever you wish today. Nice deep breath. Okay, hands are about face distance apart. Choose leaning slightly back, shoulders are back. We're coming into the body. Rotate to the side, push out. And all the way around. Push out, all the way around. Nice work. And six. Go for five. And four. Give me three more. Three. And two. And one. Nice work. All right. One more lap. Coming back on. So this time we're just going to go for straight butt taps, okay? So just butt taps. Coming in. Squeeze, tuck that pelvis under, wrist directly underneath the shoulder blades, and we've got butt tap, squeeze that belly. Eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, coming for our banded rotations. Grab your bands, double them over if you need to. Coming up, push them in, let's go, and out. And two, and three, push out. Four, your eyes will go where your band goes. Leaning back, and three, maybe two more here. Two, and one. Last one here, we're going for our crab reaches, okay? So hands come under, stay in that same position, and we're gonna reach up to the sky for 10, and nine, and Eight, seven, six, there you go, and five, 
Give me four more here. Four, three, last two, two, and one more. And coming on down. Well done. Well done, guys. So these uh, exercises or these workouts aren't here to smash you. It's about consistency, being able to get up each day and do a different type of workout uh, that complements another. So a proper program, okay? So coming onto all fours, we're going to do a stretch like we did in the beginning. Hand comes onto the ear. We're going to rotate up to the sky for four, three, nice big thoracic stretch. And two, and one, changing sides. Four, three, two, looking all the way up, and one. This next one, we're gonna thread our hand like a needle and our palm's gonna come up and under, looking up towards the ceiling. And we're gonna pull that shoulder blade towards us. So hanging down here, try and get that big stretch down the shoulder blades, down the lats. And one big breath in, changing sides. Big deep breath and in and back. Coming into the middle, child's pose. Come on down. Pull that ground towards you. Coming up a little bit of a tricep stretch. So one hand over the other, pull it through. And that same arm comes up and back. And changing sides here. Pull that arm through. Come up and back. And come on down. Walk it on out. Big pike. Pushing your hand through, head through your hands. Trying to get parallel with those shins. We're going to walk our hands in. Grab those shoulders. Uh, shoulders. Elbows at the bottom. Hang around here. Really just stretch that out, team. And we're going to roll on up. Well done. I'll see you next week for some ab work.